Hey guys, Ben Maddox here for Johnson RV. We are home of America's largest pre-owned RV store, uh, but today we're actually gonna be looking at one of our brand new products. This is the Winnebago Revel, one of our highlighted pieces, which is why we have it here in the showroom. Uh, a lot of people are really loving what we have going on with the Revel because of the availability of a 4x4 Mercedes Sprinter chassis. This is the on the shorter wheelbase, 144 inch wheelbase. Uh, so it allows you to get into a lot of small spaces, park at the grocery store, have no problem being able to go off into BLM land. Uh, and uh, get some, some off-road country. So uh, this is on the three-quarter ton Mercedes Sprinter chassis. It's got a three liter uh, V6 uh, Bluetech diesel motor. So it gets really good fuel economy, uh, but also have the capability of four by four chassis. So uh, let's take a walk around the outside and then we'll hop on inside and take a look at some of the new features that they have. Um, you can see we've ordered this one with the uh, uh, wheel and tire package. So as they come standard, they're just with your standard uh, continental tires, but this is more of an aggressive tread so that you can go do a little bit more exploration. Um, they have a nice uh, big heavy duty uh, sidestep here, so it's easy to get in and out of your rig because you do have that height adjustment uh, between the standard chassis and the 4x4. Um, we're going to kind of uh, step by the door here, but I do want to point out uh, there are some new features with this Mercedes chassis in the 2019 edition. Uh, this actually is a power door, so all you have to do is just pull on this handle, it automatically closes. There is a button just inside the door, or you could hit it on your key fob as well. So a few different ways you can use that, uh, that automatic door. And there is a manual override that you can flip off as well. Uh, this will have some driver assistance features that you won't see in the previous year chassis. Uh, it does have your uh, 360 surround view. Uh, parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, active braking, active lane keeping. So all the new features you'd expect like you have on some of for the last five, six years. So some really great features. Uh, we'll come back to some of the, the uh, amenities that are on the inside here. So I'll keep making our way around. Um, a, a great use of the utilitarian mindset that people are looking at with this is there is a roof rack on this. Uh, and it does have a ladder that attaches to the back door here, which is easily removable uh, with your key lock here. So you just put your key in there, unlock it, take it off, and then you slip this off of the rack and any, any point along the back or the driver's side where it has the plastic molding, you just hook that on and it gives you enough support to be able to get up on the roof if you wanna put a Thule rack or Yakima rack and be able to put all your gear up there. Um, and then this is the highlight, and we'll talk a little bit more inside, but this is the highlight of the Revel is this really is built for a ut uh, utilitarian lifestyle. So a lot of people here in the Northwest love it because they're very outdoorsy. They love to hike and snowboard, ski, all that stuff. So you can put all of your gear in here by putting your bed all the way up to the roof. And then when it's bedtime, obviously you've got your gear out and then you just bring your bed all the way down. So we'll demonstrate that when we go inside. Uh, your tow hitch is rated at 5,000 pounds, so if you do want to tow uh, like a utility trailer with some gear in it, you can obviously do that. I know a lot of people love to do the ATV thing, especially in this country. Um, I do want to point out real quick too, the outside color is uh, unique to each one that's ordered, so there are a few different color options. This is, this is one of the, the lighter sand color options. There also is silver and then also a gray blue as well. Uh, so we do have a few of these available right now, which is great because usually when you order one, it takes a little while to get them. Uh, utilities, like most RVs, are going to be on your driver's side. So you have a 30 amp, 110 shore power connection there, and you know it's on when it's lit up. That's a nice feature there. Um, and then in terms of your tank capacity, it's a little different setup because this is a smaller RV. So instead of having a black tank, we have what's called a cassette toilet, which did originate over in Europe. So you'll see a lot of conversion vans in Europe that have the cassette toilet. So this just opens up, easy access. You have a key that actually unlocks it and it has a little cassette toilet that comes right out. It's five gallons. And then you have a gray tank and a freshwater tank as well, which are much smaller, but you don't need that much if you're gonna be you know, doing weekend trips. Um, uh, campground, city water, you can just hook up right there. It is nice, we've got another step on the driver's side as well. Um, and it's a little bit extended just in case you need to get up and grab something that's on the side of the, the, um, the roof. So the ladder you can see goes along the side here, pretty much anywhere on your, pass, on your driver's side and just hooks onto the rail and it's, it's very safe and secure. And then uh, just inside the driver door, you'll notice this is your fuel fill. It is protected by the door so somebody can't siphon your, your diesel fuel. Now we're gonna start taking a look at the inside of the Winnebago Revel. 
Um, so before we step inside, I just want to point out some of the utilities. So you've got your uh, fresh water tank fill. The, the fresh water holding tank is actually just right underneath the uh, kitchen sink area here. Uh, you've got a fresh water drain here and there, which allows you to winterize, and then your winterizing valve, which allows you to pull in your glycol to uh, keep your tanks from freezing. Um, this is a really nice feature if you are going to be entertaining or you just want to have a bite to eat on the patio. So put your table leg in here, line it up, twist it down. Nice and tight, and there you go. Set your camping chairs up and you're ready to have lunch. All right, let's hop inside. As we come inside, I just want to point out, so you've got your uh, switches here for your coach battery, your awning switch, which is power, obviously, and your uh, awning light, and then your, uh, your other tank fill right there. And now this is uh, the register for the furnace. So this actually has what we call a hydronic system. So it uses your diesel fuel, heat ups the burner and then blows the hot air out. And, and it's multi-purpose. So it actually does that and it gives your on-demand hot water as well. So really, really great system. So um, take a look at the flooring. This is a all vinyl flooring, so easy to clean. Um, it actually has a little bit of a texture to it. So if you happen to spill something, you're not gonna slip and fall. Um, in the Mercedes cab, now this is the new uh, Mercedes chassis. So this is the 2019 edition chassis, 2020 model year. Um, this has a lot of new features to it. Uh, the Winnebago Revel in particular uh, is only missing a couple features. So it has all your driver systems like active braking, active lane keeping, adaptive cruise control. What it doesn't have is it doesn't have the heated seat function, which could be added after the fact uh, or after market. Um, and it doesn't have the power seat. So it's still the former uh, edition of the manual seats. But one less thing to break. So kind of an, a nice thing to be able to do. They still swivel around so they can integrate into the house. Um, this is a really nice... Um, uh, Mercedes-Benz 10-inch touchscreen, uh, and everything's integrated into it. So you've got your satellite radio, Bluetooth, um, the Hey Mercedes function, so you can talk to Hey Mercedes like Siri. Um, and then on the steering wheel, you have your uh, smart steering wheel functions as well, setting your Distronic or adaptive cruise control. It's a great feature. Um, and then so moving into the house portion, we've got another seating area here for other members who are going to be traveling along with you so you can see the couple you've got seat belts uh, so nice safety feature there which a lot of brands or manufacturers don't focus on safety Winnebago that is one of their biggest focuses and then you've got a table that flips up right here real quick and easy locks into place and then when you've got that seat turned around just flips right back over okay and just grab these guys and go right back down um, scattered throughout the house, we have what are called ram tracks. And so these ram tracks are basically a utilitarian track that you can put a lot of different accessories into. Uh, most of the time, it's something like to hold a phone um, or some type of charging port. So you can snap it in there and then just plug in right there. So nice little feature. Um, let's take a look at the kitchen. So the kitchen actually has a little flip up counter extension here. And this whole thing actually folds down so it can create an extra little sleeping area because this has a hard backing on it. So if you do need additional place for somebody to sleep, um, the kitchen has a flush mount uh, sink. So flip that guy up and then you got your faucet right there. Nice and compact. Uh, true induction cooktop. So you need a pot or pan that has a magnetic connection uh, to be able to use that. As soon as you take it away, it goes cool. So it's very safe with children. Um, nice little pull out drawers here, solid boxes, 110 power there. Uh, this is a compressor fridge. So the, the Nova Cool, this is a very common fridge used in a lot of uh, class B vans uh, nowadays because it keeps a very consistent cool temperature and it actually gets down to temperature very quickly as well. Uh, so a little bit of storage up above. Really nice finish, um, kind of a veneer type finish. Pantry space there. There's a service panel down below. And then this is our bathroom. So our bathroom is, uh, again, like most of the RV, it's very utilitarian. So a lot of people don't even hardly use a bathroom in a van this size. So they've been really um, thoughtful in putting these bamboo shelving in here. So a lot of people just use it for storage. But if you needed it, you can take those out, shower up, and you also have a toilet, which is a, a five gallon cassette uh, toilet. So you do not have a black tank on board. And you do have a ventilation fan as well. And then this just locks down so this thing doesn't rattle while you're going down the road. Um, and then obviously the highlight of the Revel is the garage. So you have all this space because your bed is electric, which obviously goes right up to the ceiling. Uh, the only thing right above that is gonna be your air conditioning unit, which 
will only work if you're either plugged in or you have a generator, an external generator that you're plugging into, uh, which allows you to give, give you that AC running. Uh, I'm going to show you how this bed works. There's a switch right here, which I'll talk about all of this stuff here, but real quick, that's how quick and easy it is. And uh, you can actually be roughly six foot five uh, because the uh, little flare outs on each side of the body uh, give you a little bit more sleeping room. Um, so real quick, you've got your different functions here. This is the Rixon's uh, furnace system. So you just uh, hit that there to control uh, the furnace temperature. Um, and this turns that system on. This is your solar uh, control panel. It's 230 watts of solar. So it lets you know where your uh, voltage is. Should be somewhere in the thir 13 and a half to 14.2. Uh, turning on your water pump, check your tank levels and your battery. And then if you are plugged in, that's just the electric way to use your, uh, your water heater. And this is your uh, inverter control panel as well. So that's a 2000 watt inverter. Um, let's stick this guy back up and show you a couple more features in the back here. Uh, you do have a screen kit, uh, which is an option on these, which uh, does allow you to, um, I'm gonna show you real quick next to us here. You can unbuckle this, put this guy down and zip this down when you do, it creates a solid door and then you have this nice little magnetic strip here. So you just open up the door, let it go, and it goes right back to, to close. Similar in the back, this doesn't have a door function, but you just let this roll down and then zip it down. Um, you do have some uh, nice charging ports back here, so USB and 110. And you can see you have tie downs kind of scattered throughout the house as well. Uh, you do have a heating register back here. And then you do have your auxiliary shower. So you can plug in a, uh, an auxiliary shower here in the back or just a hose to be able to clean things off. Uh, this right here is your um, in uh, the cab uh, uh, blinds, cab privacy blinds. So, and that comes uh, standard with all of your Mercedes chassis. So uh, obviously a lot crammed into a small space. Um, could probably talk about this for hours with you, but that's all we're gonna do for today. Uh, if you happen to have any questions or you think of anything, just call the number above. Uh, when you come in to check this out, make sure you ask for Ben.